drama at the public hearing in Abuja as chairman of the House Committee on Loans and Treaties almost threw blows with senior officials of the Ministry of Transportation. The Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, had earlier accused the chairman of the committee, Nukola Sasai, of soliciting contracts from the ministry and not being competent to handle the probe on loans from China because of divided interest. This, however, did not go down well with the committee. Speaker of the House, Femi Badabiamila, had to step in to douse an already heated situation. And joining us now to throw more light on this is PLOS TV senior correspondent, Amadin Oyi. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Aneta. Now, please bring us up to speed with the drama. Now, uh, what happened, just like you said, the House Committee on uh, Treaties and Loans, uh, it was a public hearing to look into the uh, to probe uh, the contracts by the Minister of Transportation uh, in securing the Chinese loans for the various uh, rail corridors being constructed across the country. But just like you said, it was uh, a mild drama here as uh, the uh, the Minister of Transportation, uh, Rutimi Amechi, was definitely not happy with the. Uh, questioning that the committee was asking uh, ministry officials and him because uh, the minister stated clearly that most of this information is in the public domain and it's politically motivated. Uh, re recall that uh, the Lagos Ibadan uh, standard gauge rail line had been under the spotlight of members of the House of Representatives and several other rail contracts. But the minister had insisted that the only loan taken by the President Mohamed Buhari administration was the loan uh, for the modernization of the Lagos Ibadan uh, standard gauge rail lines, which was actually also redesigned to end into the ports to boost economic activities within the Lagos metropolis and reduce the traffic gridlock being experienced in Lagos. Now, do you consider this as diversionary or otherwise? Uh, the ministry thinks it's diversionary because uh, most, like I said, most of the information about the loan has already been in the public domain. And some of the questions that uh, the chairman of the committee was asking uh, the minister, it was as if it was personal. That was what the, uh, the minister, of, uh, minister of Transportation thought. Because uh, recall that the loans uh, were not taken just by this administration. Let's talk about the Abuja Cardinal loan, where the former administration took a $500 million loan and the project was 80% completed. It was this administration that completed it and to ensure that the Abuja Cardinal standard gauge rail line and the rail corridor can be used for passenger service. Then also the Lagos Ibadan, uh, the Lagos Ibadan standard uh, gauge rail demodernization project, where the ministry, the federal government was only expected to bring about $400 million counterpart funding. So the minister, just as he had been insisting since last week, says that the ministry is not uh, in charge of securing loans. The ministry is only in charge of supervising the real project, and it, it is saddled with the Minister of Finance and the, Attorney, the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation to set up the nitty gritties as it has to do with loan procurement. Mm. Thank you for the updates, and keep us abreast with the development as it unfolds. Thank you, Neta. Thank you.